knowing me, I can see everything. 210, amazing machine. I mean, it's still a little cold, so letting it warm up, we're gonna do a oil change on it. Amazing machine. Okay, you got these sway bar links on the BMW. Yeah, that will work. That'll be fine. The Land Forder. Yeah. Spray PP Blaster on that thing, let it soak a little, and then we'll take it off. Chuk <laughs> Calma, man. Calma, te. Crazy black. Okay, about to put the brand new filter in there and seal. Okay, installing a brand new oil filter. <laughs> there we go. There she is. Just like that. I've got the seal on there and ready to install this bad boy. Mercedes Benz.
good. Okay, said so the max. Just want to top this off for now. Grab that. Okay guys, so we're gonna be uh, working a little more on this amazing machine. It needs a lot of work, needs a lot of love. So that's the plan. What I need to do is I need to lubricate all the, I'm gonna use automatic trans oil, I'm gonna lubricate all the latches, all that, the hinges and all that stuff and take care of that. Yep. And then I wanna take the valve cover out and do the valve adjustment. I don't know if it's gonna be today or another day. But that's one of the things I need to do. This car hasn't received a valve adjustment probably in the last 30,000 miles or so. Yeah, she's, she needs a lot of love, guys. It's going to be an amazing day today. Great weather, 50 degrees outside. So yeah, excited to work on this machine. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna install a brand new valve cover gasket and have my valve adjustment wrenches and uh, um, the feeler gauges. So let's get started. the vacuum bolt and cable sorry to disconnect it you want to kind of peel this accordion seal and then lift it up like that to the side these are disconnected cool and then we're going to disconnect this rod too okay guys it's getting dark but i have to finish this job i was working on my car and everything everything's pretty much disconnected ready to pull the valve cover i just have to disconnect these wires here the connector looks like it's been broken a while back yeah so that's okay just gonna move it to the side this is a 1985 model so it has more stuff to it okay it's micro switch also gonna replace the fuel return lines on this one as well and this uh, oil filler cap gasket is leaking pretty bad right there so that has to get done. Okay, guys, now we're just uh, removing the valve cover bolts or nuts, 13 millimeter, four of them, and then we can pull the valve cover off. This valve adjustment has been done in forever. These fuel lines are so bad. They're so brittle and they're just breaking off like crazy. See that? They're in a horrible condition. So these fuel lines are absolute disaster. The return ones, they haven't been replaced in I don't know how many years, but you can see just like how bad they are. Like, oh man, they're just so bad, bro. This car needs a lot of love. So we're replacing all of this. And then this is the other one that was here, just super brittle. Yeah, well, have a new set that's gonna go on. It's gonna be good. 
Now this is how bad these hoses are. Can't even like get this out completely. Like I gotta like, it's crazy. Man, I kid you not. This job took me like about an hour to replace all these fuel return hoses. It's crazy because how brittle they are. It's just insane. Yeah, but all of them are pretty much replaced. I'm gonna replace that a little one too actually i'm gonna take it off and i'm probably gonna just swap that pin that's in there onto a new hose still got some new hose uh material left okay guys so all these fuel return lines are replaced these the rubber ones and here's this one i'm about to install this plug right there fresh hose yeah i was able to just swap the plug so that was nice finally after this i can go ahead and start doing the, the valve adjustment on this baby just gotta make sure it goes in all the way there we go Okay, now I can go ahead and remove this valve cover. Okay, so this is the initial view. Actually, the chain is in amazing, amazing shape. I can't even take it off of the, or like lift it up at all, barely. That's what a good chain is, it looks like. Yeah, so if you have a bunch of play in your chain, you need to replace your either t tensioner or the chain itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the valve adjustment here. So I started cleaning the gasket mating surface and all that, and then I'm gonna start uh, the valve adjustment from this cylinder right here. The valve is up, the lobe is up, and what I noticed is that there's absolutely it's super tight no clearance whatsoever and uh, i do have my homemade valve adjustment wrenches i'm gonna use that i'm gonna start doing i'm pretty sure all these valves are tight okay so that's the intake valve already started uh loosening it up so the intake 0 0.10 millimeters and exhaust valves 0 0.35 millimeters on turbo om617 so yeah and i have all these specific uh fueler gauges that's what i'm going to be using and uh i'm going to adjust all these valves i'm sure all of them are tight this valve adjustment hasn't been done in forever so here's 0 0.1 and then we're going to test it out and that goes through and then i gotta make sure the other one doesn't go through the, the higher one okay so i'm not gonna film the entire process i've done a lot of videos on valve adjustments but here's the thing so this let's see mm, however you adjusted this valve and tightened it up it's intake valve so so it the spec is 0 0.10 so i'm gonna take this and it slides through now this one is 0 0.12 you got to make sure that this is 0 0.12 doesn't go through and it doesn't so that's good this valve adjusted so i'm gonna go ahead and move on turn the engine using the power steering pump and do the other valves they're all tight i'm more than sure like i said valve adjustment hasn't been done in forever on this car valve so this uh, next valve is going to be this one and then as you can see the engine mounts will need to be replaced soon the power steering bus is getting really close to that cooling uh, cooling line so yeah uh, at some point we'll have to do that soon all right so there's that valve right there Let's see if it's tight uh, this one's actually really loose look at that that is exhaust valve yep. so this valve is actually a little tight it's exhaust valve 
it's now loose actually tight the exhaust valve right here got tied or i loosened it up and put it to spec 0.35 millimeters now i'm on valve number six intake and this is 0 0.10 and it's tight so basically i'm more than sure every single valve is going to be tight on this car okay now what we have is 0.12 doesn't go in 0.10 goes in okay guys the valve adjustment is done all 10 valves were just super tight literally all of them are in spec right now and uh, now i'm just cleaning the valve cover i'm gonna replace this elbow and then the seal right there okay new seal is installed Valve cover is on. This is brand new. It's all cleaned up, reinstalled. All right, guys, I'm finally done working on this amazing machine today. Everything is back together. Valve cover, all that stuff, everything looking so much, so much better. These new fuel hoses and everything too. And uh, lubricated all the linkages and stuff. Everything is moving really nice and good. We're about to start this up and see how she runs. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Wow, actually started better than before. Wow. Like I said, guys, all the valves were just tight. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Still some rattling here and there, but the engine runs so much better, actually. This thing is making a rattling noise right here a little bit. That's okay. We're definitely gonna do the diesel purge and filter soon. No more oil leaks, nothing. Everything is amazing. Amazing car. A few moments later. Vlad is finishing up working on that Beamer. He's putting the, the valve back in. Now what I need to do is I need to replace this broken part right here, the hood release. Okay, it's just a couple of uh, eight millimeter screws. So this is where it broke off on the back side. And then on this one, it's all good. So we're gonna install this brand new. Add a little bit of grease to that as well. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. It's also about like 20, 30 degrees outside right now, but we gotta get this going. Gotta love these amazing machines no matter what. Gotta put love to them every single day. Okay, so I got the plastic bag here to protect the engine mount, even though this engine, these engine mounts are trash. Um, and this right here is getting really close to that cooling line. These engine mounts are have, gonna have to be done ASAP. But uh, I tried moving the cooling line one back and forth, but I can't, unfortunately. So, yeah, now it's going to be a, a diesel purge time right here. Oh, 
All right, so I got this long hose. It's gonna go here. It's gonna be drinking the diesel perch. This is actually still an old style pump. Uh, so I'm gonna see, I gotta pump this. leaking too but okay that's what it is okay so just hold on a sec I gotta hold this it's a little tricky now Okay, so just hold it here. Yeah, okay. just kind of hold it there, okay? Might it's in a splash line? It might. Actually? Like this, this is gonna start coming out right there. Okay. So kind of like, yeah, just be mindful of that. Come on, baby. Where? In this well, that's what we have. Keep it submerged. Keep it submerged. That's okay. All right, I got it. It's okay. Just a little hiccup. All right, now we're running diesel purge from it. That's pretty dirty already. Wow. Pretty dirty. So the belt is squeaking a little, but the engine started working like so much better and healthier. That's actually pretty amazing. Look at how dirty this is actually. The camera can't do the justice, but yeah. I'm sure she's definitely gonna feel so much more powerful, especially after replacing the fuel filters. We're gonna do that next. So I grabbed, uh, used two bottles already and uh, gonna finish this up shortly here. I'm gonna put these filters on the new hoses first. I'm gonna put a new hose right now, the return hose. Unfortunately, I don't have a cigar hose this style, but this one's really bad and I don't wanna reuse that. So I'm just gonna install uh, regular for right now, but it's brand new, so. Okay, replaced this filter, this hose. I'm gonna pump it now. Hopefully it works. Uh, I don't know how good this thing is. Oh yeah, thank God. <laughs> we don't have this. Well, there's diesel in it right now, as you can see. So we're good here. There we go. She's filling up. That's good. Got this bolt loosened up. Okay, here it is, the bolt. I'm gonna see if this O-ring that I have in here will fit. There are a few O-rings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this. I don't have the correct uh, O-rings right now, but they're okay. They're not uh, broken. Next time we'll definitely have to change those, but there's the old fuel filter right here. But you can see how like, oh, it's, it's very old. Ooh. There's probably a lot of gunk in there. Oh yeah, look at all this gunk in there. Yep. 
So now to put the new one, I have some diesel purge saved up. Just a little bit left and I'm gonna fill this up. Oops. I'm gonna fill this up to prevent like all these this air and stuff in there. Oh my gosh. Like that to the top. And that's how I'm gonna install it. Just like that, all the way filled up. Okay, I'm gonna start it up after the diesel purge and all that. So far, so good, no leaks. I put that additional hose there for now, so it doesn't rub through. Just let it run for now, a little bit. Yeah, I think the alternator is making the noise or is that one of those belts? Yeah, that's okay. And she runs so much smoother now, it's crazy. What can diesel purge do? Doing good. It's all residual. Amazing machine. BMW E39. Amazing machine for the rescue of this amazing old school W123 Mercedes Benz that I just completed a lot of work on. The diesel purge, fuel filters, fuel return hoses, valve adjustments, valve cover, air filter, some, a lot of other stuff that, you know, this car needed. It's, she's been a little neglected here and there, but, you know, she's an amazing machine. They don't make them like they used to. And yeah, I'm happy this car is alive and received a lot of love. Just listen to this amazing engine. Oh, and also the oil change was done and oil filter was also replaced and all that. So yeah, she's an amazing car. Make sure you love and save your old school machines. BMW E39 for the rescue. Oh yeah, amazing machine. Amazing machine. Well, finished working on that 123. That's so much work to this car. Amazing. I'm gonna change this air filter as well. I'm gonna take this off. It's good. Just gotta be really careful with this. There we go. Pulls right off here. Okay, and now you already loosened that. So now this lid just comes out. Look at that. Very nice. Now I can clean all this. And then take the air filter out. There we go. Careful. Well, with this, you see this hose? Let me teach yes. you. You have to be careful because this hose into a plastic yeah. nipple. You don't want to pull on it too hard, okay? But yeah, let's take that out. That's really bad. Jeez. Really bad. <laughs> Vlad is learning. Vlad is learning. So 
Yeah, now what you want to do, you see the middle portion? Be careful, don't drop anything in the middle portion. But <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have to <laughs> we have to clean this uh, air box right now, okay? So Okay, so we put that in there. Now we can clean all this garbage out of here. That's big difference. Hasn't been changed in a long time. And this is a special filter because this is a California model car. So, yeah. Cool. Well, now we can clean that, Vlad, if you can. We're going to clean this. Thank you. Chmuff. Clean this a little. And brake clean is not the best solution, but that's what we have because... You know, this can eat paint, but now we're just cleaning all the oil off of it. Okay, so here's the lid. Let's clean up as much as possible. So, as much as we can tonight. Just kind of in a rush, but yeah, just want to finish cleaning this part right here. All the way. And then we're going to install a new filter. So, okay guys, I got this uh, mostly cleaned up and also inside the air box. I'm gonna um, also clean these hoses a little bit. I'm gonna install the filter now and put it all back together. 